Hello again, and welcome back to School Wonders World. Fagly was back the other side of the shed. On the other side of the shed, mainly because the cam wall's over that side. Some of you might have seen the cam wall. Are you interested in seeing the cam wall? I don't know. I'm not. I see it every day. It hasn't changed though. I've put, changed a few bits and pieces around, but there's nothing. Maybe I need a, uh, a bit more. Start again. Um, but uh, anyway, I thought some some are different. Some a little bit different. Beer glasses. Or beer goggles. That's something completely different. Beer glasses. Um, I've got a few beer glasses. I'm not a massive beer glass nerd or collector or anything like that. Um, some people like Dean. Basil would be an idea. Um, that's some really nice glasses and I'm not going to sit here and sort of shit all over that because whatever your hobby is, who am I to have um, a difference of opinion? I, said, I tend to pick beer glasses up. Um, if I do a beer on a channel like Stag on Your Good, I think it's always nice to have a Stag on Your Good glass. Um, elusive, elusive glass. I've recently acquired an Erdinger glass. I've got a voice beer glass, so if I have a voice beer, I just think it looks nice. Don't have things like delirium glasses, although I would like one. Uh, so I might have to buy one at some point, or Castile, or some of the really uh, ornate glasses. I do have an ornate, a couple of ornate glasses, and one glass in particular that I that I think is well, it's like an offensive weapon, in all honesty. But it is really, really nice. So what I'd do is <laughs> these this rack. Well, I'll probably show you this rack of glasses was by our back door and was completely overflown with glasses. Uh, the cupboard was full of beer glasses and the top of the cupboard. So Wanda the other day said something, I got a bit huffy as I can do, took the shelf down, popped it in the shed and moved all the glasses out here. So now when I want a beer, I have to come all the way out here and um, <laughs> to get a glass, take it in, give it a clean. Cause obviously they're in here, they're gonna be a bit dirty. But I thought what I should thought I'd do is I'll show you the glasses that I've got. You might not be interested, you might think oh, that's a boring old subject. So are you running out of material? Yes, I am. Not really. Just something different and um I haven't drank as much this month. You probably noticed there hasn't been that many reviews. I haven't drunk anything. So you know, keep the channel going. Something a bit interesting. Hope you enjoy it. Just to smack that round a little bit more. So you can see this sort of wonderful photo. I don't know if you can see me now because I say I'm not a narcissist, I'm around that way. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, let's go through the glasses I've got and uh, see what you think. See which was your which, which one's your favourite. Give it a big old thumbs up. This one, just from the beer company. I'd say some of them have been really dirty because they've been set on the shelf in there or haven't been used in months. So this one from the beer company. Fuck off. Just a half point glass. Like that one because it's got the old, um, I don't know if you can see that. The, the little men, the little peanuts going around it. It's not a simple little glass like that one. Probably one of the first ones. Don't hate me. First ones I've got. <laughs> Brewdog. Brewdog Teku. Love a Teku. Um, for the fact that any beer can look good in a Teku. Obviously, craft beer places, most craft beer places, you get a teku for the um, for the beer. Um, this one broke my original one. Got another one because uh, Brewdog were the first brewery that I really liked. In that vein, I've got a stagger any good one. Love stagger any good. One of, one of our um, lo local breweries. So love a teku. Anything with stagger any good on always good with me. Uh, I got this one. I can't remember what this one was for. This is from Staggery Good as well. Big old gin glass, I think that is. But it's got um, what was it for? They had a couple of beers out, and I think it was to do with them. Uh, it was Divine and Divide. There was a West Coast and an East Coast IPA. Uh, fantastic they were as well. Both of them, both from the same work, uh, but brewed for different different uh, different styles of beer. Fucking magical. And that was brought out for that. Got a t-shirt with that on as well. A big old nice branded gin glass. 
No, they're, they're all out here, lovey. Don't worry, there's hundreds of them. Been about a four hour video, these lucky, lucky people. Um, this one was brought to me by my very good friend, friend Shit Can Dan, uh, one of my favourite breweries, uh, Elusive Brewing. So just a tumbler, got a lot of tumblers. I just found the eyeballs. What eyeball? <laughs> oh, for f <laughs> what you need, isn't it? Your missus showing your dog poo in the middle of a video. You found the eyeballs of the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I've got something to show you in a minute, Bill. Yeah, I've got something to show you in a minute. So, yeah, um, a, a lot of tumblers, different tumblers. Uh, so, that's the Elusive Brewing tumbler. Love Elusive Brewing. This one I acquired recently. So, buy spear glass. So, out, get out. Before I shit's everywhere. Um, Erdinger, buy spear glass. So, it's a bit, some of these are a bit dirty, they just need cleaning. So, I do apologise. Um, love my voice beer glass. Need to get a couple more. Me and Dean have been talking about doing some um, voice beer comparisons. Love a voice beer. Got a little pity. This one is really dirty. I do apologise. This was um, given to me by, given to Wanda actually. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Oh, yeah, that's a third, or like a third cloud water glass given to her by um, Jason the Beer Musketeer. We were doing some bits and pieces with Jason and he. Very kindly gave her that, like, chucked that in when we bought some beer. Um, cracking little glass, do like cloud water. Don't do many cloud water beers on the channel. Another tumbler. And this one uh, from Hopped Craft Beer. Hop, hop, sorry, Hop, that's not true. Hopped Craft. Your teeth in Scott. Uh, hopped Craft Saw. Craft Saw. Hopped Craft. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Craft hot sauce. I picked this up at um, the Christmas beer festival. It was at Brick Lane um, a couple of, a year and a half ago, a year and a bit ago now. Um, really like that one because it's a, it's a full glass. Some of these ones are um, quite not sort of quite sort of two thirds, so you struggle to get all you can in. But yeah, really nice. Like that one. This one's Wonders, <laughs> and I think, I think I picked this up from Jason as well, the beer musketeer. Stout Life Tumbler. Obviously, Wonder loves a stout. I'm hoping you can see all this, so I can't see it. So this might be like the worst video in the world ever. No change there. Stout Life, um, Overtone. Uh, so my good friend, the pondering mark, pondering mark, the mark the pondering man. He sent us some beers from Overtone. My hands are fucking freezing now. Uh, he sort of sent us some beers from Overtone, and along with the beers was an Overtone tumbler. At, and again, proper size tumbler as well. Like that one. Uh, that's one of the Stout Life. Uh, we went to Warrior Fest, so there's um, a craft beer. Probably the best um, venue for a craft beer festival. HMS Warrior in Portsmouth, and it's uh, run by Staggeringly Good. And I got three, got three of these. I mean, me, me and Wanda got one each. We acquired another one somehow because usually you come home with less. Uh, Seabrooks and so Northern Monk did their. They did a co collaborate, a couple of collaborations with Seabrooks where they did a prawn cocktail goes and uh, a cheese and onion lager. So I ordered the goes and it came with a, quite a nice little Northern Monk glass with Seabrooks as well. Prawn cocktail. It was alright, it wasn't too bad. Uh, good friend of the channel, uh, Hamilton Brewery, again, apologise for it being dirty, uh, Hamilton Brewery up in Islington, if you've don't, if you've not tried Crunch, their peanut butter um, stout, you're missing out, that rhymed, I didn't even mean it to, Salt Brewing, up in Yorkshire, Love the honeycomb one. Can't remember who sent this to me to, uh, to me now. But bought some beers from Salt. 
and uh, another one already. It's got a slight chip in it. There was not fuck off. There was another one, but I um, accidentally um, broke it. And there's a slight chip in it just there. I don't know if you can be able to see that. But yeah, another one, a proper size tumbler as well. So most of these are tumblers. If you don't like tumblers, you're gonna be very bored very quickly. Very a nice tiny brew by numbers one. Picked up on the Bermondsey beer mile. Yeah, I don't know what that is, it's a half point, two thirds. Half point, half point glass. Dinky little one, love that. A couple of fallen acorn ones. So fallen acorn, picked up a blue one for me. Pink one for Wanda. Very kindly given to us when we picked up some beer. They said if you buy a tumbler, you get one free. So they gave us one free. And then last year, they did um, their own festival called Awakening. Uh, they also did a beer around here somewhere uh, and love the awakening glass phenomenal nominal got two of them I've got two of these um, from the beer musketeer in Portsmouth and excuse the slight dirty well not slight dirty it's very dirty uh, local if you've got a bottle shop Go and look with what you can, show, show them the su su support and some love. What have we got down here? We've got sour, uh, Vault City, a Vault City sour glass. Bloody hell, it's cold. Um, so they released two beers at the same time. Uh, so they did um, a lemon sour and a strawberry sour. And if you, down at the Brewers Tap in Portsmouth. If you went down there and you ordered, I think it's two thirds of both, you got a glass. Quite that. Another one of the um, Warrior Fest ones. Got just another staggeringly good tumbler. Love a tumbler. Uh, Brew London. Or Brew London. And beer 52, I think that was sponsor pie, something like that. But love that, that's a great glass. I know Dave, I believe our man uses his quite a lot. Like that one. Pick this one up at um, Sirens tap room. It's a nitro glass. It's got a wiggy in it. So if Wonder has um, Broken Dream uh, nitro, that's an absolute cracker as well. Do like that. Really nice artwork on it. Well, even you can see all this, otherwise I'm wasting about 10 minutes of my time. <laughs> uh, my good friend, Josh Edwards, sent us some beer. He's from Huddersfield, he sent us bits and pieces. He sent us some, again, I apologize for the color of it. A magic rock one. That was staggeringly good. This one, they've got their record series, got a new record coming out, uh, hopefully before the end of the month. And obviously the records are all colourful, um, sour, uh, they do slushy versions of them. And they've got like a um, can, again, do apologise, should have cleaned these out before I did the video. The wrecker glass with the little dinosaur motif on it. Love that one. Put these back on the shelf. Now we're down the bottom. Pick this one. This was in, uh, I think it was in Morrison's. Four Steiner tulip glass. Only about a quid. Really nice little glass. Well, that one. We were in. We were in. Oh, wait, Putney. And uh, managed to acquire. Borrowed Beaver Town glass, which is nice and colourful, and we've got a little one as well for Wanda. Put my hand in my pocket now because my hand's cold. <laughs> got a little one for Wanda, so a little half point one for her. Groovy colours, whatever you think of Beaver Town. Um, nice colours. Another beer nuts one, but uh, 
440 mil or two thirds, whatever the bloody hell it is. Fracking. And we're getting to some of the interesting I'll we'll leave the, the, the couple of really interesting ones from last. Say no more. Carlsberg, builder. Got a uh, San Miguel. I do like the, the shape of the glasses are fantastic. I do like the San Miguel glasses. It's, it's all right. What I use for my stouts every now and a little tulip glass, snifter glass. Like that one. Uh, when we went to uh, Stagger Only Goods Hoptoberfest, you got a free Stein. So we got two of them. Love that one. One of my favourite glasses to have a beer out of that. Absolutely cracking. One of my favourite beers. I'm only bending down in this, isn't it? Um, we've got to work out where I'm at. Um, picked up at Brew London. Love, 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 love this glass. You can't have a Budvar. Again, I do apologise for the slight saying, but you can't have a Budvar without a bud, proper Budvar glass. Absolutely belting. One of my, again, one of my favourites. What's this one? Little Buxton Brewery wine glass shape, one for wonder. Another one of my favourites. Absolute classic beer. I don't think I've ever reviewed it. Maybe a back in time beer. Full of ZSB. Another cracking. Another one of my favourites. Um, did some charity work for a friend of ours, local pub, had um, a glass of ESB, came out in, gave me a proper glass, I said, could I have that? I asked, I'm not an arsehole, yeah, this is the, the, what you've done for us, take it, so thank you very much. Have a staggering good one. So the, the traditional sort of pint glass, love it. I wanted to pick this up when we went to Camden Brewery. Little um, half point. Little half point one. Which is really nice. Got a big old star, big old one. Uh, this was picked up from Lidl's when they did the, their fest beer. And it comes as part of, like, if it was a fire at the time, I don't know how much they are these days. Um, but yeah, five. So, far, big as me head. Technically true. Technically true. which comes to the last two. Last two of my glasses. And the two that are the most interesting ones. So this one was um, borrowed from Disneyland. Tend to take it back at some point. And it's um, it's from Grim, it's Grimbergen. I think it was Grimbergen Blonde I had in that. Really ornate, really nice looking glass, that one. Nice gold rim. Got the Phoenix. Uh, the ornate bottom as well. Just a lovely glass, I like that. I'll take that back when I get a chance. And this one, my favourite glass. And one we picked up at a jumble sale, actually. There's a pub not far from us called the Admiral Drake. And they were, during COVID, they were struggling big time. And they um, had a jumble sale of old stuff. I think we picked up some some bar pumps, uh, some beer mats, and some a couple of glasses, pint pop, just generic pint pop glasses. And I saw this one, and I thought, I'm having that. I think it all came to about five or a, five or a tenner. And it's this one. I think it's a 1970s Budweiser glass. I mean, look at the, look at the thickness of the glass. It's mental. And I absolutely love that glass. I think it's fantastic. It weighs a ton. Proper glass. Little dimples in it as well. Looking on the way around. And it's just lovely. I think it's fantastic. I don't know if it's worth any money. Maybe, maybe in 10 years time. But this time next year will be millionaires on that. So yeah, that's my glasses. Um, nothing majorly exciting. But I thought I'd show you something 
bit different, you know. We, don't, we haven't got to drink ourselves to excess, have we? Um, so, if you, what's your what's your favourite glass out of my collection? And if you've got interesting glasses, um, what's what's your favourite glass that you drink out of? Um, yeah, some crackers in there. I like the um, I like this one. I like the Grimbergen. I like my uh, Budvar. I like my Elusive Brewing. I like them all. Got a favourite glass? Favourite chair? What's your favourite chair? favourite haircut favourite beard style um talking nonsense now um yeah that's my glasses um I hope you've enjoyed the video um thumbs up thumbs down I'm going in because I'm bloody freezing me want to see you soon there's a subscribe button if you you feel that way inclined and you haven't so uh, uh, yet pushed and caressed the button then that would be very grateful and uh, me want to see you soon have a good evening so this is where they're currently sitting in the shed this is Wanda's bit and this is where they're all sitting Exciting, huh? Welcome.